Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Before we get into the topic, I would love if you enjoy the video, a thumbs up it really does help the channel out a lot, it helps push the video out on the algorithm to everyone. Today we are going to be talking about the fetishization of fat women. How this topic actually came to my mind was I was doing the research for my first 1K sister video about Tammy. And as you guys know, I talked a little bit about the BBW King, um, you know, this quote unquote relationship. It's been, you know, it's, it's kind of argued whether or not it actually was a real relationship, but that's honestly besides the point because it was really interesting learning about that whole dynamic between, you know, him and, you know, wanting fat women. And so I've done quite a bit of research on this topic. In this video, I am not going to sit here and say I have all of the answers. That's definitely not what this video is. It's more me just asking a question to something that I think is interesting. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say I'm going to be saying fetish and fetishization, fetish, fetishization a lot. And as you can tell, it's, it's really hard for me to say that word. So if I say it wrong, I apologize. All right, I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> but the main question that I have is when does liking someone because of their size become a quote unquote fetish? And then even further, when does that quote unquote fetish become a problem or is it ever really a problem? Now to go further, what I mean by that is when we talk about, or when you see a lot of people talk about BBW, big, beautiful women, it's a lot of men that are interested in women because of their size, right? That's the reason they're interested in them. That's the main thing that they like is the fact that they are larger. Is that a problem in and of itself? Okay, so that's one of the questions. And then the other one is, if that is a problem, when does it become really dangerous for someone to be in a relationship like that? Now, one of the best examples of this, as I mentioned earlier, is Tammy Slayton and the whole BBW King situation. Now, what's really interesting about that whole situation, at least to me, is that there were a lot of people that were genuinely upset with the fact that Tammy was with this dude, quote unquote, with this dude, whether or not it's real. Again, that's besides the point. Because a lot of the TikToks that he would put out were all about the fact that he wants to be with a woman that is over 300 pounds. That was like a big thing that he uh, continued to post about. And obviously, Tammy is on a show where it's all about losing the weight. And so why would you want to be with someone that doesn't want you to lose the weight? And then that goes into the question of, is it a problem to like someone because of their weight, especially when the main thing that you actually like is the weight, right? That's the, that's what you are fetishizing that you are, you, the weight is the thing that, you know, quote unquote, like turns you on. And especially if that weight is actually hurting the person that you quote unquote, or you love that you say you love, say that you like is, is it wrong for you to still want to be with them? Even if they want to lose the weight and then all of a sudden they, they want to lose weight and now you want to leave, right? Is that a problem? Again, I don't wanna act like I have any answers, but I will say that for Tammy's sake, I really do hope that she, cause it's, it's very clear that she wants to find someone to be in a relationship with. I do hope that she finds someone that is happy to be with her because of who she is and the things that she does, uh, regardless of what you might think of her. Obviously, like I hope that everyone finds somebody. I just really hope that it's not someone that only is interested in being with her because of the size that she is right now and that they'll be okay with the fact of her wanting to lose weight and hopefully actually losing the weight. The next person that I want to talk about is Samantha Mason. She was actually on my 600 pound life and What's really interesting about her is that she's almost on the other end of the spectrum here where she has really leaned into, you know, this whole fetishization of someone being larger and she has been able to make a living for herself while doing that. 
In order to make money, since finding a job was out of the question at my size, I chose to start fetish modeling for a website that catered to people who liked large women. I eat for people. I just eat what I want, and they pay for it. Hi, long time no see, everybody. People ask me all the time, when is gonna be that cake video? Well, it's right now. My mom's self-image really improved after she started that modeling job. It kinda makes her happier because those people just find her as beautiful. They find her as a human being, not some huge maniac. But there's no question that this job has been unhealthy for me because I found the perfect community to reinforce my worst habits. I last weighed in six months ago, legitimately, and I was at 811 pounds. Seeing this, I am conflicted because on one hand, I am, it's it's nice that someone is able to, um, you know, they might be in a position, regardless of how you feel, if like they put themselves there or whatever, they're in a position where being able to make money is very difficult. And so they found this way to make money, right? But in and of itself, the way that they are making money is also hurting them. Now that I've kind of laid all that stuff out, I do want to share, you know, my opinion and the things that I've kind of thought of. Again, in no way am I saying this is the end all be all. But it's really interesting to me, you know, learning about this stuff because I know what it's like to want someone to love you or like you when you are overweight. I remember when I was at my heaviest, I I would joke around with my friends and I was like, I would just I just need to find a chubby chaser. Right? I just need to find a chubby chaser. And because at that time, it, it's kind of sad. And I think that there, this is a whole nother video that we could get into of whether or not like you deserve love is when you're overweight or whatever. But I I personally felt like there was no way I could find anyone to like me unless the only reason they liked me was because of my size, right? It wasn't like, no, they, they there's no way I can find anyone other than someone that is specifically trying to like be with me because they find my size and that's the only thing attractive. Now, I want to make it clear. I, I do think there's quite a big difference between, you know, how I felt and, and being a woman just in general. That's those are two different things. One thing that I personally have found very interesting when when we look when I've looked into the whole BBW community and especially with the men is that it seems like a lot of the men in that community almost feel some type of they, they almost feel like they deserve and they the, the women in the community, they should be happy that someone likes them uh, because of their size or despite their size, whatever word you want to use there. Because it seems like a lot of the dudes, they feel almost entitled to the woman's bodies because it's like, well, no one else will like you and I do. So it's almost like because I like you, like you're mine regardless, there's no, you almost don't have a choice. And that's where it gets a little like scary almost when you, when I, at least when I've read into it. And again, I want to make it clear. I'm not saying like there's anything wrong with having a preference. Like if you prefer, uh, you know, your woman or your partner to be a little bit larger or you don't want them to be skinny. I don't think that that's the same as what I'm talking about here. I, I don't even want to say, I think I, I know that that's not the same thing, right? Those are two very different things, like having a preference versus a fetish. Like when I think of fetish, especially in this context, is like you like this thing about the person. That's the thing that you like. So if that thing changes, you no longer want to be with that person. And that's where I've, I've done a lot of research where people talk about, you know, how fetishes can really kind of. Uh, take the personhood away from the person that you're with because you don't see them as a person and like your partner you see them as the fetish that you like and when we talk about this fetish in particular wanting to be with someone because of their size and and as we go up and up like literally up and up in weight and on the scale and in severity of this uh you know subculture it gets more and more dangerous because i mean we know right the larger someone is the more scary that that situation gets at the end of the day like i said if you have uh preferences or even if you have a fetish i think in and of itself a fetish isn't a bad thing the reason that this 
spoke to me so much is because it really does feel, and, and maybe I'm wrong and I would love to know what you guys think, but it really does feel like there is one person in this situation that is vulnerable, that wants to feel love, that wants to be in a relationship, that wants to you know have someone desire them and want them. And it seems like there is the other, on the other side, there is someone that is taking advantage of that and they are using that for their own personal gain. Now, I'm not saying that's always the case, but it feels like that's what I see here, right? Because I, again, like I think to myself, like if there was someone that wanted to be with me when I was bigger, I would have been so happy and I definitely would have let them do uh, or let them get away with things that maybe I, definitely I would not let them get away with now because I was so, you know, desperate at that time. And so I just think that it's a really interesting kind of like subculture, a really interesting topic that I don't really see much people talking about. And so I just kind of wanted to, to bring it up. And again, like the reason I made this video is because I want to hear what people think. Like, obviously I have my opinions and my thoughts, but that doesn't mean that I'm right by any means. It's just the things that I have, you know, come up with while doing this research. Um, but with that being said, that's everything that I that I have to say on the topic. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Fetishization. Ugh. Fetish fetishization. There we go. Fetishization. <laughs> oh my god. Fetishization. Fetishization.